Good morning, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce here. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins. That's where our faith lies, is in the blood of Jesus. Um, we're saved by the blood and kept saved by the blood of Jesus. It's the blood that he shed. He shed his blood, was buried, and rose again. On the third day, according to scripture, we're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That's how we're kept saved. That's the basis of our salvation. Once you accept Christ as savior, you will never lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit indwells in you and leads you to righteousness. You will never lose your salvation. You are sealed until the day of redemption. The key word is believing. The only requirement for salvation in this dispensation of grace is believing in what Christ did for you at the cross. That's the key right there. Believe. The jailer asked uh, Paul, in the book of Acts, what must I do to be saved? He said, believe. And people are going to argue with that and say, well, you know, demons believe. Salvation isn't made for demons. And demons don't believe. If you really want to know the truth. Salvation is made for us. God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him and what he did at the cross for our sins shall be saved that is salvation and the only requirement for that is believing it's nothing more to that people will say oh it's more than just believing no it's not if you're putting anything else with believing other than believing then you're adding works to the equation. And then it's no longer belief, but it's works. So, the only requirement is believing in what Christ did at the cross. Period. I got to give you this article. This was sent to me uh, from one of my subscribers. And she said, Lisa, you got to read this. And this is so true. I'm going to give you this article because it goes in, it goes with everything that's happening. It's called Godless America. And this is off of Prophecy, uh, uh, Prophecy News Watch. I think that's what it is. Godless America, anticipating the Antichrist. Now, it goes on to say, oh, how America is preparing for the Antichrist. Something I've been saying in videos for the past few weeks now with a godless mindset. A recent article in LA Times and Yahoo News is headed is headline Why America's Record Godliness is Good News for the Nation. It says in part it reads The secularization of US society, the warning of religious faith, practice and affiliation is continuing at a dramatic and historical historically unprecedented pace. While many may consider such a development as a cause for concern, such a worry is not warranted. The increasing godliness in America is actually a good thing to be welcomed and embraced. Are you serious? He goes on to say, as recently as 1976, nearly 40% of Americans say they believe that the Bible was the actual word of God to be taken literally. Today, only about a quarter of Americans believe that. That includes a lot of Christians, so-called Christians. More believe the Bible is a collection of fables, history, and tales written by men. Representative Jerry Natler, the stupid Democrat in New York, and stupid he is, recently proclaimed that God's will was of no concern to this Congress. 
First, the liberals kicked God out of the Pledge of Allegiance and then out of the Democrat National Convention in 2012. Until recently, they did not make an effort to force the rest of the nation to also abandon God. The consequences? Mm. Secularization has consequences. Check out nations that have experienced it. Japan, Scandinavia, Australia, the UK, and parts of Eastern Europe. How is society functioning in godless China and Russia? Once God is gone, repression almost always follows. So what's happening right here in the United States as we speak. Matter of fact, thing one... made something clear. Biden says, enough praying time for action. No amendment to the Constitution is absolute. Unleashes executive action on gun control. He's about to start a civil war here in the U.S. Because we have the right to bear arms. It's even in the Bible. I'll point it out to you. A lot of you know where it is. But anyway, this article goes on to say, <clears throat> the article hurtling America's new godliness says that now society can embrace abortion, socialized medicine, euthanasia, and gun control. How neat is that? It reads, the organic secularization we are experiencing in the United States is a progressive force for good one that is associated with improved human rights, more protections for planet Earth, and an increased socio-cultural propensity to make this life as far and just as we can. In the here and now, rather than in a heavenly reward that fewer and fewer believe in. Does this not foreshadow the words of Luke 18, 8, when Christ returns, will he find any of faith? Guess what's happening? Something that I've been seeing for the past several months now. Government becomes God. And that's what's going to happen. And that's why everything that's happening is in line for the Antichrist. The government and the Antichrist is going to be God. For a hundred years, there have been an effort to make government God. Starting in 2020, an element was added that further, further that agenda. Fear a pandemic. It became the perfect storm. It became the perfect storm. Author and blogger Jonathan Brenter writes, The combination of fear and the great deception of our time have made vast numbers of people willing to submit to the government, which they now regard as the protector of their health. Started last year. Actually, it started years before that. But it really picked his head with this COVID thing. That's my husband texting me, so sorry about that. As a result, they will willingly they have willingly given up many of their rights and freedoms for the sake of remaining healthy. A trend sure to continue. So people have substituted and compromised their faith in the Lord and in his word and moved over to government out of fear. Perfect scenario for the Antichrist. The New World Order, a.k.a. the Beast, 
cannot exercise its dominion over people apart from their willingness to submit and dictates of a government they trust for their well-being and health. People wear masks without questioning their effectiveness. And very few pastors stand up against the restriction regarding the freedom of religion imposed on them by socialist governors. In order for the elite to achieve their ultimate goal of a one world government, they must convince people of their need for more government control in their lives and of their lives. This explains their devotion to the contrived climate emergency that they and why they will not let go of the increased control over our lives that they have achieved through the virus. For the most terrifying words in the Bible, four of the most terrifying words in the Bible, and it's in Romans 1, 24, 28. Because man rejected God, he gave them over to foolish idolatry. That's not the King James. The King James says he gave them over to a reprobate mind. We find the same principle in 2 Thessalonians 2, but this time the terms of delusional belief. Those who reject God's truth will end up following the Antichrist. It's just as simple as that, folks. It's not rocket science. That's why I tell you every day it's time to get saved. Because this is what's in place right now. That's why the rapture is just a matter of time before we're gone. Poof. Millions of people will have disappeared. It's just a matter of time. It's imminent. It goes on to say they will run pell-mell into his arms. Yes, they will. Stage is already set. Just 50 to 100 years ago, our churches were filled on Sundays. Even though the mainline Protestants were in decline, still faithful, Presbyterians, Lutherans, and Methodists joyfully singing hymns. Now they're all joyfully and happily accepting gay pastors and women pastors. Yeah. And by the way, I have a platform on YouTube. I know I never, ever, ever, never would call myself a pastor. I'm just giving you the news and the gospel on how to get saved. And I am allowed to do that. The evangelical church was exploding in reaction to the liberalism, to the liberalism that had invaded the church. The thought of prominent U.S. congressmen stating that our government was not concerned with God's will was unthinkable. And they have done that. But 50 to 100 years ago, we were not so late in the game. Few were even thinking about the Antichrist, much less knowing or unknowingly welcoming him, his coming. Now he's on the horizon, so are the four horsemen. Believe me, soon as the rapture takes place, as soon as the rapture takes place, all hell's going to break loose for a while. And then there might be a norm, a little bit of a norm there. And then this man who people will embrace as a god will unleash hell and fury. Evil is on his way. So is the return of the Lord in what is known as the rapture of the church. That's the good news. In the midst of a sad story, he's coming soon. Whether the church talk today talks about the the, uh, the rapture or not, he's still coming. The rapture is imminent. Nothing can stop it. It's at any moment. While most people no longer believe that Jesus is coming back, researchers in the Middle East have discovered new evidence that proves the prophesied rapture. It's not only real, 
but why it must soon come to pass. I'll leave that. I'll leave this article in the description box, folks. We are literally waiting, awaiting the rapture. I'm just, I sit back and I watch. I have a wide open sky here. I sit back and I watch. I'm just waiting for the sky to unfold like a scroll. I'm listening for the trumpet. I'm no longer looking at signs because the signs are there. They, they're already there. I mean, people, if you, if you can't see this, then you, you're delusional. And people have, and have written me and said, but people have been waiting for the rapture for years. I've been hearing this for years. Look at, when, look at years ago and look at right now. It's a different time frame. It's a totally different time frame. Years ago, if this would, if I would have thought that this was going to happen years ago, I would have been, I never would have believed it. But look at where we are right now compared to years ago. I know you've been hearing the same thing. The rapture is coming. The rapture is coming. But I've been, people have said to me, I've been hearing that for years. Look at where you are right now. The rapture is imminent. The rapture is coming. Things had to happen in order for the rapture to take place up until now. Up until now. I still feel in my heart of hearts, if we're here past December, that's when I'll be shocked. I'm just saying. I'm not putting a date on it. I'm not putting anything on it. But we... The way things are going with these wars and rumors of wars, I doubt, I doubt seriously if we're going to be here much longer. And it's time, and it's already, it's already a sense of deception out there on the planet. Because reading this article, I already see that people have walked away and they no longer believe in the Lord I see that but looking back years ago and looking back up until now it's already set for the Antichrist Back then, it wasn't set for the Antichrist. If I look, I'm looking at, and I'm looking at, when I first started looking at the rapture years ago, it wasn't set for the Antichrist. Now it is. Stage is already set. I'm going to link this article in the description box. And I will come back later with whatever else comes up. Um... I thank you for your support. Again, um, I'm going to link some articles in the description box. Someone told me on the blog that they got a spam thing. When I put an article up on the blog, they said that it comes up spam. Just open it. It's fine. It's not nothing that's going to hurt your computer. It's just me. But um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> link some articles on there, and I'm going to... Um, Link this article in the description box. Folks, it is time to get saved. For real. It is really time to get saved. Because I can feel it is strong. I can feel something's about to happen. But I'll be back later. Thank you.